This video is going to demonstrate how to burn archive video from the DVR hard drive directly onto a, a, a DVD uh, using the included DVD drive that comes standard on any of the SV or JS series DVRs. If you're not logged into the DVR, go ahead and do so, but I'm logged in right now. So once you do log in, go to main menu and once you're in the main menu select backup and it indicates here at a glance that um, the DVD is ready to be copied to it's ready the total amount of space that uh, is available on the the DVD and by the way I get my DVDs from Staples they work very well DVD-R is uh, the format that you need so we're gonna select backup and Today what I want to do is I want to select uh, an, an event that took place today um, and it's on the 21st. The start time is 1400, 1407 or 207 this afternoon and I want the end time to be at 1409 so I want to burn two minutes of archive video f from channel one that occurred this afternoon. And once we do that, so again on the 21st, which is today, at starting at 2.07 in the afternoon, ending, ending at 2.09 in the afternoon, I'm going to select the Add button, and it, it adds that archived video to the list ready to be burned. It shows that um, it's channel 1, the R means a constant record event, the start time, the end time, and the file size. And once you have that in place, um, it'll indicate uh, the space required is 8.82 megabytes and the space remaining um, indicates this as well. At a glance you'll know if, if the DVD will not have enough capacity to hold the event that you're trying to burn to the DVD. And, and then at that point we're going to select the start button and the DVD is winding up. I can hear it here. It will indicate that it is burning, uh, it'll indicate its progress down at the bottom here, but what this will do is it will prematurely indicate that it's finished. And uh, in, a, in a second or two here it should come up uh, indicating, as it did, uh, remaining time is zero, but in fact the DVD is still burning, um, the, the green light is flashing on the front, but what will happen here is once the backup is complete, it will indicate uh, a message on the screen. This, this box will disappear and another message will come up indicating that backup is complete. There's one more thing I'd like to point out that once you burn a DVD, um, that particular DVD cannot be reused. Uh, it's been finalized and uh, the DVR will not recognize recognize a finalized DVD, you'll have to use a new DVD.